Hello and welcome to HD Free to Play. Today I'm going to show you a guide to make virtually any game look better. Now there are a few requirements. Basically it's got to be DirectX 9 Plus. It's got to be a 32-bit uh, version of the game. So, you know, 32-bit, 64-bit. It's got to be that 32-bit. And you've got to have a graphics card that supports Shader Model 3 Plus, which uh, if you run any of these games that support it, you probably do because most of these, you know, require that already for the game just to work. Now let me show you the uh, the sort of... Uh, increases you can expect to get. So this is before and that's after. So as you might be able to see, I hope you can anyway with the video quality, basically what this does is it's a uh, it's basically like a lighting mod. It adds different things to the lighting. It basically, well, it just makes everything look better. Let me just uh, give you like a little walk around. I'm not sure how the FPS will hold up during this. I hope it holds up alright, but here we go. That's on. That's off. So, to be fair to the game, I have put the gamma up a little, so it is a tiny bit washed out, but that's that's the game's graphics. It looks washed out, it looks dreary, there's not really any atmosphere. And then with this on, boom, so much difference. And the actual performance, uh, you know, hit for doing this, I found to be absolutely minimal. I've got a pretty good rig, but it's a pretty minimal performance drop for, well, what I think is, well, it looks like a new game. It's, it's just so much difference, and it's just so much better. You know, the neon stand out more, everything just stands out better and it hits you and it's got more pop. But anyway guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to my desktop now and I'm going to show you how you can get this installed. It's not too hard due to the uh, work of a few people, it's quite easy to do. So uh, yeah, I'll switch on to there now and I'll show you how this is done. Alright, so now I'm onto Mozilla or whatever web browser you want to use and I'm onto a page called sweetfx.thelazy.net. Now this is the one that you want to go to, as always in all my videos, the links will be in the description down below, so just open that up and you'll be able to see all the links. Now what you need is SweetFX configurator with SweetFX 1.5.1. Now, as of uh, you know, making this video, that's right at the top. If there's a later version out, I suggest you use that. It's probably got updates and fixes that you need. But I, I, you know, would imagine that the process will be exactly the same as what I'm about to do now. So we're going to click that, and it's going to give us this download. So we're going to open it with WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever thing you actually use. And what we're going to do is extract it to the desktop or wherever you uh, you know like to extract these things. I'm just going to put them all in there, and it's already just got an overwritten what I've already done, but it's okay. Um, you can see my sweet Adventure Time desktop here. I'm a massive fan of that. If anyone else likes that, put it down in the comments. Uh, but anyway, sweet effects configurator. So we're going to click on this, and it's going to open up. Now you've got a load of stuff here. Don't play around with all this. You don't really need it. All you need is this application here, the sweet effects underscore config. Now, we're going to open up this. Now, when you actually get this, yours will be blank. It will not have this DC Universe Online active. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove that. So this is what yours will look like. Now, in order to show you how to sort of add one of the presets, which is what you're pretty much going to be want to be doing, I'm going to do the whole process from the start. So I want to add, say, once again, I'm going to add back DC UO. So add new game. Now, what you need to do is find the folder where the actual um, application file or executable file is for the game. So, say if you're playing a Steam game, for example, which, well, I'm launching DC Universe Online through Steam, you need to find program files, it's usually x86, or if you're running on just a 32-bit system, it'll just be in program files. You want to go into Steam, and uh, it's Steam Apps, Common, and DC Universe Online, there we go. Um, now, sometimes it won't be in the exact root of the folder. So, for, ex for this one, for example, DC Universe Online, we've got Launchpad and Uninstaller. That's not what we want because none of them are the actual game. So, if we go into Unreal 3, Binaries, Windows 32, there is the actual thing that we want. So, if you try it the first time and it doesn't quite go where you want, try it again. Try and find all the you know the runnable applications, and one of them should be the game. Now, you know it's uh, up to you to play around and tinker to that. So once you've added the game, it'll come up with some uh, various things here. Now what we're going to do is use presets. So basically on this uh, you know, SweetFX page, there's a guy that's made, well, it's uh, updated by loads of people, but if we go back, so presets, we're going to type in presets here, and we've got SweetFX settings database, again by this uh, the lazy guy. and Again, we're doing DC UL. Now, if you want a different game, obviously all you need to do is search through this and find the game that you want. But we want DC Universe Online. 
Let's just try DC. Here we go. DC Universe Online. Uh, here we go. It shows you where the actual, sometimes it will anyway, it will show you where the actual, uh, you know, bit you need is located. And we're going to click, um, I can't remember which one I'm using actually now, <laughs> uh, DCU 2.0. So more color, sharpness, contrast. Now basically these presets are just uh, pre-configured, you know, settings that other people have tinkered with to get, you know, the best results. So, you know, you can see some pictures, what it's going to look like. And if you want, you download that preset. Now this comes as a text document. You want to save that. Then you go to your downloads, just make sure it's in there. And uh, actually what we'll do, just for easy use, we'll move this onto the desktop. Uh, yep. Oh, we will if we can find it. Yes, I've lost it. Brilliant. There we go. <laughs> so we're going to drop that down, and we'll place that onto our desktop. So we've got that there, easily locatable. We're going to go back onto the configurator, and we're going to load a preset. So you go into Save Load Configuration, and I've already got a preset loaded, but if you want the other one, all you do is go Import Preset, and we saved it to our desktop. Go down, and there we go. Sweet effect settings, DC Universe Online, DCUO 2.0. We'll click that, and it'll load it in. And uh, I think that's basically it. So you would drop it off. Now sometimes it won't come up, but if you if you uh, close the application and then reopen it, it will. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's it's done from there, guys. Um, there's only a few other things you can tinker with, and I'll show you them back in the game. So I'm going to pause it now, go back into the game and just show you other things you can do. And I'll show you, uh, you know, a bit of the tinkering. So, back in a second. Okay guys, so now we're back in the game and I'm just going to show you some of the things that the, uh, you know, the options and the things you can tinker around with. There's a lot of stuff and uh, basically it's going to sort of auto-update for you guys because obviously I'm only filming the game. But as I alt-tab and alt-tab back in, you might have to wait a few seconds for me to, you know, actually get the game back focused. But for you, these, these changes should happen automatically. But basically you've got three little options to play around with. Uh, when you're actually in now, I suggest you don't alter these because when you do, you do have to, uh, you know, put the settings back. Um, so basically, you've got scroll lock. This will turn on and off the different settings you've activated, and the pause break key updates for, say, you know, if you've changed the settings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go out, change a few things, and uh, just show you what this tool can do. Really, you may still be able to hear me speak. I'm not sure if you will. Anyway, <laughs> let's. Uh, Let's add, say, where what we're going to put on. Do, 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 do. Um, there we go. That's a pretty cool one. Save that. Ah, it turns out if the game does lose focus, my frap starts recording. Uh, stops recording. Sorry, but here you go. You can see now that I've put on a 50/50 sort of look. So you can see the actual differences that this thing makes. You'll notice the right side is so much more clearer, crisper. just looks better all around, really. The left side, in comparison, looks dull and less vibrant. But those are the kind of changes you can expect from this kind of tool. Um, let's just go for one more. I'm just going to show you another setting. And uh, then I'll leave it at that, guys. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So let's let's just try something else. I'll probably put on some cartoon effects or, you know, make it a bit zany or something. Let's have a look. So I've just uh, enabled a load of different features and, well, the end result isn't very great. I've put on a, a, a few too many things, I think, but as you can see, this is a very powerful tool. There's a lot of options you can play around with, and when you get really in-depth into it, I mean, I'm not at that stage yet, I like using presets, but when you do get really in-depth into it, you can adjust the, you know, the, just the parameters you know, to minute details just to get the image exactly how you want it. But there we go, guys. That's uh, the uh, Sweet Effects Configurator. And yeah, it's well, it just works. It's it's very simple to use, and the actual you know differences it can make to your gaming and the graphics performance is phenomenal for what it is. So there we go, guys. If you've got any questions or comments, or you're having any difficulty with setting this tool up, post uh, down in below in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer you. I'm not too well versed in it, as I say, but if you've got any basic stuff, I should be able to answer you. But there we go, guys. Uh, sweet effects. Check it out. Subscribe for more. I don't know what videos I'm going to be doing next, but. You know, I, I upload regularly, I do a lot of different high quality videos and, uh, you know, 
I think, uh, I think you know, I should get my subscribers up a bit. So if you like what I do, subscribe for more. Anyway, guys, cheers, and I'll see you in my next video.